Good today? You good? You have to think about that. You're good. So I have a question for you guys. Who can guess what my favorite color is? No. Good guess. Purple. Purple, that's right. Well, I'm wearing purple because it's Lent, right? Because we have purple there too, so. But yeah, purple is my favorite color. Okay, that was good, that was good. It only took two guesses. Let's see. Um, let's try something else, okay? Who can guess, who can guess what my father's name was? Oh, that's tough, right? Was it George? George, Fred, Anthony, and Pasquale. It's an Italian first name, Pasquale. George, those are your four choices. George, Fred, Anthony, or Pasquale. Guess, which, guess what my father's name is? Pasquale? No. It's a good guess, though. That leaves us with George, Fred, and Anthony. Okay. No. Nope. George, no. Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. What? You have to give him like You said give you four choices. You didn't four say one choices. of them had to be his name. <laughs> what what be his name? You didn't say that, so I gave you four choices, but none of them were his name. His name was Arthur. Oh my god. Okay, one more chance, one more chance, okay? You ready? This is easy. I'm thinking of a number. You ever play this game? I'm thinking of a number between one and a million. Okay. Four. Four. Good guess, but that wasn't it. Six hundred and forty-nine thousand three hundred twenty-one. You were gonna say that? Yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> you distracted me from saying. No idea. That's right. I picked a number so you probably wouldn't have any idea. That's crazy, right? So how would you know these things if I didn't tell you? You'd have to be inside my head, right? You can't think the way I think because I think all by myself, just like you think all by yourselves. Are you ever thinking something and somebody says, "What are you thinking about?" Sometimes your parents ask you that. What do you think about? Well, today we find out that God says, I think differently than you all think. God says, my thoughts aren't your thoughts. So how do you know what God thinks? Like if God said to you, I'm thinking of a number between one and an infinity. We would have no idea, right? We would have to guess one, two, three, four, and then we'd run out of time. So how do we know what God thinks? I'll tell you, because Jesus told us. Because Jesus was God. So that's how we know how God thinks, because Jesus will tell us what he's thinking. So what do you think Jesus thinks? I'll tell you that too, because I've been listening to Jesus a lot. Jesus thinks and knows. You know what Jesus thinks and knows? He knows that you're beautiful. Did you know that? He knows that you guys are beautiful. Because that's the way he made you, to be beautiful. Um, did you see Shrek? 
Shrek's not ugly? Oh my goodness. Oh, he's got that green and he's got those little trumpet ears and everything. I think he's ugly. Really? Well, that's true. But he had a beautiful heart, right? He was a really good person. He had a beautiful heart. Or a good ogre, I should say. Still beautiful. Well, have you even seen the first one? The first one? I did, actually. He rescues Fiona. Yes, but I can tell you. Okay, and then I'll say one more thing, and then we'll pray. Lord Farquhar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said all the very clever people um, to Shrek's swamp, and he he had to rescue the animals for head for head. And he all and he, he did, but uh, the Yoda didn't want to, and then he thought that Shrek when when they were on the they did they were. What? You want to tell me later? No. <laughs> right. right. But she loved Shrek. Right? And he loved her. And they had little Shreks. And little Fiona's. Because that was in the second movie. Oh, that was in the third. Okay. Did you guys see Shrek? You ever see Shrek? Do you think he's a handsome guy? Yeah. But he's got a beautiful heart because he's a good person, I think. So even if you were the ugliest person, God looks at the heart and not at the face. And God created everybody, so everybody's beautiful in their heart because that's how God made them. Now, sometimes we forget that and don't act that way, but God still invites us to be who God made us, which is beautiful and loved. Never forget that God loves you, right? That's what God thinks because that's what Jesus told us. He told us that in words, and he told us that by dying on the cross so that we could be with God forever. So that's good news. So we can know what God is thinking because Jesus told us that we are beloved of God. So let's pray. Shall we pray? We fold our hands and bow our heads, and we say thank you, God, for the good news of Jesus, for telling us what you think about us, and that is that you love us deeply. And when we feel sad or lonely or afraid, help us to know that you are looking out for us and that you are with us. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming up. Good to talk to you. We'll learn more about Shrek later.